Hello everyone, I'm Son of Beast, and I'm Mephone, and this is NBA 2K22 on 2K Sports. What's going on guys? Hey, we are back for another NBA matchup. Thanks to the All-Star game, we it's finally been complete. And right now we're back to original game. We have a next game going on as the Atlanta Hawks are playing against the OKC Thunders. So that's it being said, only one player has already transferred to the other side of it without Steven Adams. Or even possibly enough, it was Hazan Whiteside here that we haven't seen him playing on the court. And maybe that might be the other thing that we have never talked about it before. John Collins, maybe in the second starting lineup at that point in a substitution. We're not sure if John Collins is returning, but we will have to keep an eyes on him, just in case, if we need to see it coming by. So here are the starting lineups, as I will take it from here. Atlanta Hawks, we have his Trey Young, Kevin Herter, DeAndre Hunter, Danilo Gallinari, and Clint Capella, the best man in the center from the Atlanta Hawks. And the other side right now, OKC Funders lineup, we have his Josh Giddy, Trey Van, Lutan Stort, or Lucan Stort. I forgot what to say, but it's may, may not be pronounced correctly. Well, we'll have to see what happens. Darius Basley and Derek Favors. And for that being said, let's get this thing right on the board. As we're about to find out, what will it be? Let's get this game rolling and send you up to the one of the best places in OKC, changing from Chesapeake Arena into a new one. What is it? Well, you'll find out. Let's get going. Festive atmosphere inside the building. As we We're in the building right now at Thunder's Arena, and right now this turns to be a changing look here of this court. But first, we're going to take a quick look here from the highlights from Alley. And here's the look here from Danilo Gallinari, the last game we've seen here, 19.8. In season 4, 2019-20, it turned out to be going to be even a little bit better than last couple of seasons ago. And now, let's get to Alley, right on the sideline. Thanks so much, Brian. Well, Trey Young has confidence shooting from just about anywhere. He calls it off the bus range, explaining whenever you step off the bus, you can shoot it. That's my range. I practice it everywhere. I shoot. I worked on it before. Guys? Thanks so much, Allie. That's a lot of work here. And right now, the colors of their jersey is white. So it turns out to be one of the best ones that are changing blue into white. The key matchup we have is Young against Giddy. But the other guys, they have a lot of them to get right in their positions. Derek Favors, the only guy from the uh, center. He was traded from the Utah Jazz the last couple of uh, seasons that he was played. But this time, it might be for his run to start with the Thunders. And this time, Chesapeake Arena changed into Paycom Center. So we are all fueled up and we are ready to go. So after the win here for the Hawks tip-off, here's Young. Try to pick up his scoring run. His first shot goes in there. Trey Young, he was one of the best players here in the Atlanta Hawks at this moment. When he was playing with the All-Star the last season, he has already been begun here with the Atlanta team to get in the run. That ball to the block. That keeps Thunder's ball here in possession. And look at that court, you've seen it all white. I guess that's their only city jersey to make the addition come even bigger to help them out with the win. Giddy in the corner, covered by Young. Screen coming. Giddy in the drive, makes it through. That will be a first bucket for Giddy for the OKC Funders. And Giddy, he is uh, starting for his season after he makes his uh, NBA draft pick from the uh, from the uh, officials. There's a lot of uh, players that really wanted to go ahead and try things up after playing college basketball in the NCAA divisions. Tough shot here for Capella, but it will be rebounded by Derek Favors. Drive, coming in. The first foul called on is Hunter. That'll be his first foul, first team foul on Atlanta. First team foul. 
Calling for a drive. We got door. Look at that drive. You could see that reaction to his face. That was what happened here before. Not to expect without every player. She showed you Gorgix Alexander. It may be very tough for him if he wants to get it back. Two shots coming here for Dort. And he will have the advantage to take the lead by two if he makes both baskets. It's the first one. And guys, for uh, one of the best plays here, they really have gotten a lot of a lot of great strategy out. But for some players, we've seen uh, we've seen a lot of uh, practicing. Sometimes they need to uh, get hydrated and get ready to be on the court. They practice and they get better. What is your take? Uh, yeah, I think the, my take is that I think most players really got to hydrate it up and they better be ready here on the court. Most of the time they can't even find a man on offense, but that's what they got to do in order to get back in the game. Capella, oh my! He makes a drive, goes with an easy layup as they are stuck in between. Capella's got his first basket of the night. Rushing through the, uh, in the, in the outside range, Baisley. Favors, back to man. Six on the shot clock. And that's a great D on Herter as he will take his first rebound. Capella, back to Herter. Goes right to Capella. Fades, back towards Gallinari. Favors on the cover, back to Young. Six to shoot, Young up. No good on the shot range. That's the best uh, best players on the defenders. They really wanted to go right into it. Favors, right to man. Man, up in the uh, shooting free throw and he doesn't hit that one. No score yet for the changes. Capella, right to Gallinari. Trying to pick a drive up in the range. And can't get the ball back in the in the other lane as Dork goes around the other way. Dork drives it through in the paint. That picks it up a whole world of a two-point lead. Okay, see, we can hear that Dork was running up his drive and says, I got this. That's all he had done. Hunter right back to Herder. Herder drives. Rebounded by Capella. Flips back up, and he will take it the other way as he gets his second bucket. Capella, he's like a strong man here on, on, in the center. But one thing important to say, that he has a lot of ability in order to help him get better at it. Screen, rejected out of the way, man on Herder. Screen again, tries, the, tries another one, Giddy on Young. They have to make the shot, can they make it? No, they cannot. Capella pick up a rebound, and it will turn it the other way. Capella right to Young. On Capella with the screen. And the first foul is called on Derek Favors from OKC Funders with 2.26 gone by. And that, uh, that little hesitation out there, Trey Young really has a lot of improvement with his skills. His team went all the way to the Eastern Conference and without heading to the finals, it was very hard for him how well has he have done. If Trey Young can think that he wants to send him back to the team to the playoffs, they have to do it again. Young hits the first free throw. New couple changes here for Atlanta and OKC Funders as Gallinari and Herder checks out along with Capella. Any other team? All five players checked out. All five players checked in. Wiggins, Williams, Kowalski. I haven't heard that name, but I don't know what's going to happen. Trey Young, he's doing really well. Fantastic run for his season. He might be looking forward for another win here after a loss against the Toronto Raptors if he wants to hit the buzz beater. Richard Bow called on that Pongu. That would be their second team foul on Atlanta. And now, Young will check out as Lou Williams and, and Elon Wright are checking in. Maladon on Williams, taking the screen, 
drives it forward, can't get it back. Rebounded by Dort, and now goes back in there. That keeps it up with the tie. That's a strong move out there. Strong move. Two minutes to go here for the first period of the game. A come move. Back to right. Right. Right back to Hunter. Hunter. Trying to go back with the pass, but it doesn't work out for him. Another miss here for Atlanta. Fades on again is Robbie. Maladon right to Wiggins. There are two Wiggins here. It's not Andrew Wiggins because he's already in with the Warriors. That's a different uh, Wiggins here, if you guys remember it. And Wiggins, no problem here. Makes a drive and they up, lead it up by two. What a good help here on offense, but that's a great help here on for one of the OKC Thunder players. Bogdanovich. Three-pointer for Williams. Gets it to go. That's a three-pointer shot for Atlanta as Lou Williams takes the lead by one. Assist by Bogdanovich. A great a communication out there. Lou Williams, he's, uh, he's like a best player out there. Gonna have to keep an eye on him. Okumu with the rebound. Hunter, right over to right. Back to Williams. William fates. Bounce pass, rejected away. That'll be the first turnover on Atlanta. Flipping on the other side. Here's Maladon. Maladon drives, rejected by a Kongwu. That will be keeping out for the for the Thunder's ball. That's a great help here on offense and, and what a play on defense. A Kongwu really had showing off before. And without any other range, he really knows how he can get there in handy. Jeremy will be checking in for Maladon. Just about 30 seconds to play here in the first quarter. And Okungu takes the rebound after a miss again by OKC. Okungu right to right. Back to Okungu. Okungu watching out to the bubble defender. And a rebound by Robbie. Another miss by Atlanta. Wiggins taking his time. Not going with the hard and trouble. Robbie finds Kowalski. Jeremy for three. Doesn't hit that time. The first quarter comes to a close. Atlanta with a one-point lead. And we'll be right back for the second quarter right after this. It's a prime time edition. We'll be right back. Those teams could definitely be hard and expecting, but there's a lot more happening as we are ready to start the second quarter. Atlanta with one-point lead and OKC trailing by one. For those two guys, they really have gotten a lot more better. One I think about one of the players that really likes to uh, hang things off, I would like to see the best player from the OKC that wants to take it all from here. Derek Favors, he's not really well trying to pick his thing up, but I would like to see him play better from that point. He misses the Jazz so much, but we will see how well he can do here, Bifo. Here's Hunter, and coming in the paint, attacking it, and the foul is called on Robbie. Another team foul called on OKC, and right at that moment, first foul for the player of Robbie. And here's Hunter, one last look here, as I can feel like that was his shot that was turned off to be off slightly off balance, not assuming what he was going to do, but that's a lot of tape if he really wants to keep things going. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. He makes the first free throw. And for Hunter, he has a, a lot of uh, encouragement of his uh, game. He really loves to uh, keep it going. He likes uh, to hang with uh, friends that he knows playing with the basketballs and and also, he wants to uh, keep it going and try to get a little bit better at it. So Hunter hits two free throws, and the game itself, Atlanta leads by three. Jeremy will take it from the other side, as he has never got scored in the basket before, and he will have to stick things up here. Olewski 
No good on a shot. That will be another rebound on Hunter. Turnoff changes are quite going fast, but can't let that happen once there is another attacker on you. Three-pointer for Hunter. No problem. That's another three-pointer for Atlanta. After Trey Young's three-pointer. I mean, Lou Williams' three-pointer. And it's Hunter's turn. Crowd sharing for OKC with five minutes gone by. Wiggins for three. He missed it again. That's another miss by OKC. Finds Hunter. Fades. Has no time to think. And he was nowhere behind. He makes another basket for Hunter. And looks like the OKC funders will have to call time here with 444 gone by. They lead by eight. All oh, those players for, for the Atlanta Hawks, they are really on fire. I'm not telling you this, but that's a lot of improvement skills out there. This is what everyone really complies about. Those teams that gets better at it. And I can feel that Atlanta Hawks did make two consecutive wins here against the other team from the other side of it. And I can feel like that was one that puts them up with the best score. It was Atlanta Hawks that made a win. And then the other team that I had predicted for, it was very, very intense. That turned out to be another win here for our for the Atlanta Hawks if they can try to like pick that one up. But all those games are turning out to be a losing streak against the Portland Trail Blazers in season two and the Hornets here in season three. It's very tough. And the Toronto Raptors last season of season five. New changes are here being given out as four players check out. Young's back in with Herter, with Gallinari and Clint Capella. And five players are checking back in. Dort's back on the court. Basley, Favors, Mann, and Giddy are back up. Rebounded, Favors, no problem here. That's another bucket for Favors. Favors are turning out to be terrific here for this season. I am not sure what he can do, but he'll try. Oh, Clint Capella slams it down, and assist goes out by Trey Young. What a play here for Atlanta Drive. Driving in the range, nowhere to go, questioning to figure it out, but Trey Young knows he was quicking eyes from his check. Door up, doesn't hit that run, as Bogdanovich hits another rebound. That's four rebounds. 3.50 lot left to go, finds Herter. Herter right over to Bogdanovich. Bogdanovich sways it around. That's another miss here for Atlanta. Bogdanovich didn't have it all, and they put up a win here against Orlando on Wednesday. This turned out to be very tough at that point, but not to uh, go on with Bogdanovich. He has lead some couple baskets here, turning out to be very, very well. Not, not predicting what he was going to do next, but that's all he has broke. Screen will come in for Clint Capella. The drive for Bogdanovich is right in the paint. That will be a first bucket for Bogdanovich. And they are extending the lead here with three minutes gone by for the second quarter. Screen on him. And here comes the drive of Dort. Went short. Gallinari inside. No problem here as Gallinari got another bucket here. 13 to 2 run in the last 301 for minutes. And that's a lot of uh, a lot of angle here, a lot of uh, a lot of this uh, discommunication out there. Not even not even like try to help on the defense or offense, but they do it right away. Here's Bert Gallinari. He only scored two points in this run. And for the last game, it wasn't enough for him to try to pick it up in the playoffs. Herder, running to stop him, Capella got the ball. Moving around, Young to reset. Shot clock down to five, Herder up. And only two minutes to go by, another miss by Atlanta. McDonovich on him. 
No threes pointers yet for him, but he only scored two. Gidney. Favors. Good shot. That's a good, good call by Gidney with the assist. Four points for Roy Favors. And they are down to approaching a minute and a half. Bogdanovich finding Gallinari. Young back in the other lane. Young drives. No problem. Another driving range in the paint for Young. And they are killing it. Young's doing like a fantastic work. He really thinks he does want to go back and play and win it again. Without last season, he couldn't try to finish it off with the buzz beater win. Next time out, called by OKC with a minute and 11 to go. A little change up here. It might be a little bit hard and it might be going on here. Just very, very tough. I don't know what to say about that. They look like the Bulls here. But not to assume that, it doesn't look like the same thing. I don't know if you can call that with the uh, Bulls in the range or the Rams. It doesn't really help that one here. And speaking of the Rams, we'd like to congratulate the LA Rams for winning the Super Bowl title. They only have won two Super Bowls. And for 2019, they played against the New England Patriots here at Atlanta for the Mercedes-Benz Stadium. It wasn't close enough for him, but that's all that turned out. But we're glad to see the LA Rams come back here and play for their new stadium for a, at the SoFi Stadium for the first time in a Super Bowl history. I agree with you. That We definitely uh, think that it was going to be a very rough call. If it turns out to be turn off to face it or no flag being called out. They forgot to do the QB, uh, QB blitz here to pick up a first down. Wiggins up. Three-pointer again. Missed the target. Maladon helping out. And still doesn't get the three-pointer. No three-pointers yet for OKC Funders. But only a couple of them for the Atlanta Hawks. Williams right to Capella. Goes in. Off the range. In and out. Williams turning out to be the other side on right. Robbie misses again. Good help here on offense as Kung Wu gets a rebound. He will dish it off to Lou Williams. Williams trying to look for a steady position here and with only 16 minute seconds to go. They got to get it, but shot clock is down to four. And the next foul falls on Maladon. That will be their second team foul on OKC. First personal foul. Maladon wasn't able to be ready with this one, but it looks like he was going to try to deflect it. But for Lou Williams, he has gone and ran out of time. He didn't really think he was going to make a shot clock before the shot clock expired. Williams hits the first free throw. Good on the second. That will be two out of two for Lou Williams at the free throw line. Ten seconds remaining. Maladon, three seconds, can he make it? No, he does not, and that concludes the first half of the game. Atlanta 28, OKC Funders 14. Not very sure what they could do, but they could try to figure things off. And let's have a quick look on Alley on the sideline. Thanks guys, Clint, an outstanding first half for this team at the defensive end of the floor. What was the key? It's been consistent. Uh, defensive rebounding was one of our keys tonight. And uh, it's just the start, so we're going to try to stay locked in on it. We know this is our key in our transition to, to make a stop here and run. So we're just going to keep going. Back to you guys. All right, thank you, Allie. We'll be right back after this break. Don't go anywhere. There will be more on the way. Let's have a look at your first half of the Fury of Hawks and OKC Thunders in the first half.
first half is complete. Here to summary. That's all, folks. Let's send you back to the court. Or the second half. Welcome back to the amazing arena of the Paycom Center. Where we're getting ready to start the third quarter. And taking a look at his scoring ability, it was it was Hunter, but it turned out to be a best play in this game on offense. What is your take here, Son of Beast? My take for DeAndre Hunter, he really had shown all his support and love to all the Atlanta who really wants to keep things up. And of course, the Braves are still watching the Hawks play how hard they did. And I definitely did tell you that one here before, that the Atlanta Braves have already won the World Series in this game uh, against the other team that we called for. And you know, it's hard it gets against the Houston Astros from this part. Herder trying to pick up a run. As the third quarter starts now, all fueled up and ready to go. Hunter for three. Eight in! Another three-pointer for Hunter. And they are still extending the lead without three-pointer for OKC. Here's Dort. Pass along to Basley. Basley up. Doesn't get that one, did he? We got it up. Man, can you take it? Yes, sir! We have a three-point range for OKC Thunders, and Man gets the first three-pointer. Um, yes, Man does definitely know that he can try to help him out. But the other players, they really didn't want to take it all. Short off range for Trey Young. Went a little too late. And a rebound will be picked up by OKC Funders. Lost the ball. Deflect away. And another two-pointer comes back in on the other side. With 4.30 gone by, here's Young. Only scored a couple of points. That'll be six in that game. Capella. Bates finds Herter. Herter finding a look on the screen. Back to Young. They need to get the shot in possession here. Herter steps up, makes a shot. That's another two-pointer for Herter as Young gets the assist. Young, he's really showing his ability off. He paid it really hard not to expect how he's going to do. But that's all you can count on if you get better at it. Basley off target on a three-pointer, and that's on still a never miss. They're getting cold here in a three-point range. Young, way deep. And still not enough to get that three-pointer inbound. Man for three. Short, favors, rebounds the ball. Giddy for three. Again, they missed the three, and they still can't find it. A lot of players are getting a hard time. You can't have the three-pointer in the range if you're going to try to keep it going. You have to get better at it. Clint Capella, no problem here on the drive. And in the paint, that's going to be eight points for the game. Clint Capella is doing really well. A lot of best defenders out there, but that's a hard how it, how it turned out. Favors dunks it across in the paint, and they are trying to keep it alive. Derek Favors really showing his support. No question here for Derek Favors if they wanted to keep it going. And they have it along the way to try to stop their run. Three-pointer Young. Rebound by Capella. Young tries to flip things over, and they wanted to try again from the top. Try to find a man out there. Capella with a shot. Off the range, rebound by Gallinari. Oh my goodness! Gallinari gets a second bucket. He saves this time. He goes out for the rush, and he really wants to take it all. Well, what a great help here on offense. The next timeout will be called by is the OKC Funders. With 2.17 to go. And without any moment out there, they really got to try to rumble the bison for the OKC Funders. Yeah, there's no different comparison between the bull and the bison because of that. It's uh, it's a different uh, different size and it's the, it doesn't even compare with that. But that's a very hard look here. If there's any comparison 
from the mascots if they're trying to look for the, the man that they were trying to look for. But that's not going to change the effect if they really wanted to keep things going. Only one steal for the OKC Funders and only one turnover for Atlanta. No turnovers for the OKC Funders as this turns out to be a would be a shout out, shout out turnovers and only one block for the Atlanta Hawks. New changes are coming in for the OKC Funders and the Atlanta Hawks. Herder, Hunter, and Capella will check out. And a new player coming back in, Bogdanovich, Williams, and a Kongwu. Wiggins for three. Get it! And count it! That's another three-pointer for OKC Funders. That's two consecutive three-pointers. Two minutes to go here in the third quarter, as this will now be up by Williams. Williams scored his last time, as for five-pointing as a counter to get it again. Williams missed the three-pointer. Doesn't hit that one. Lou Williams, better be out there strong there, man. You have to get it front. Wiggins, two three-pointers, and they're catching it up. Young passes off to Gallinari. Gallinari, screen coming. Try to help him out, but it's locked loose. Bogdanovich on the outside. Passes off to Williams. Williams drives in front. Lock is contested, but that will be another huge rebound for the OKC Funders. Williams. Right on Williams. Pass across. Drive. That's good. And that's another one for Robbie. Robbie's doing really well. He's going for it. OKC, Dick trailing by six. Young. Back to him. Double man trying to worry about him. Gallinari. Up with the shot. Gets it to go. And that's another two pointer for Gallinari. They lead up by eight. And they are going down the range here for OKC Funders. They got to try to fix, fix things up, but they cannot be left open. Wiggins for three. Rebounded. Oh, but Levski got it. Three-pointer back in the range. And they are trying to fix things up. Pavlovsky with the first assist. Young taking a look on the uh, number range on offense. Bogdanovich right to Okungu. Bogdanovich back to Gallinari. Gallinari to Young. Young goes up. Shot missed again. That's another rebound. Ten seconds gone by for the third quarter. In the center it goes. And good heavy D here. Williams, will he take it? Oh, it's off! And that ends the third quarter. It's 39 to 34. They're trailing by seven. I don't know what to say. It's trailing by five. Sorry, that was my mistake. <laughs> anyway, let's head you all on over with the intermission. And the fourth quarter's coming up after the break. And here's Nate McMillan and see what the head coach is up to. Okay, good pace is on your spacing, getting it out, and attacking. Everybody is rebounding. We limit the team to one rebound and we push. All right? Which with Nate McMillan, he really got a good hesitation out there. He's throwing up his good head coach here on Atlanta Hawks, but they really like to uh, strung things out a bit. They're doing really well here with the offense and defense on this motion attack. But right now, they got to work on the players that we have to watch out for. I'll come move up. Nice basket here and a great assist by Wright. That will be the first assist here for Wright as a come move gets his first bucket. Olevsky up. Williams for three. Gets it to go. That's a never three-pointer for OKC. And they're coming down by four. Moving on the run, they're trying to look for it. They're trying to see if they can make the win. Last season, it was a loss against the uh, LA Lakers. We're gonna have to see what they can do if they can bring it back again. Williams, Wiggins, can he make it? No, and it's lost. The Thunders have the ball back with 504 to remaining. New changes coming in for the Hawks and Thunders. Donovich, Hunter, Okungu, and Capella. One more block here for 
the Mobile One, as we call it for Hunter, the Rejection. Rejection of this shot turned out to be more than outstanding of his defense. For his time, he really had turned out to be just better if there's another one. And a drive here for Akungu, he got a great block here for the first half. Here's Jeremy, doesn't have the board on a, on a dot. Tour, in with a close call, and they're up by one for the Atlanta, trailing by one. Right, on the wing, looking over, finding Bogdanovich. Spin move across, and Bogdanovich can't hit the two. That's another rebound here for OKC Funders. Door inside, takes the lead. Dort gets it in there, and they have it up by front. Wow, Bogdanovich answers it back quickly here, and that turns out to be just short on the range. Bogdanovich, he just like answers it back, and that tells him that, that you can't handle the man, you can't handle it anymore. Beasley missing the three, right has it all in place. Capella, right to Hunter. Hunter, still looking for a man to find an open space. Madonovich for three. Another miss by Atlanta as Dort takes another rebound. Finds Baisley. Baisley makes the shot. They are back up in front. And Dort takes the assist here in this run. Wiggins will have to just try to like keep his strength here, but now Nick McMillan calls timeout. Because the, because the offense doesn't turn out to be just quite better, and they're gonna have to make a new changes out of them. The score right now is 44 to 43. OKC still getting a little, little uh, angle off without picking up another losing streak battle. We only see, saw this in season number three, as they only made a win against the Brooklyn Nets. That's what they have done here so far, and that's quite interesting what they can try to do. Other plays turn out to be the worst. Well, not the worst, but it's turning out to be very hard at that point. My prediction to this answer, if the OKC funders can try to reach their strength and want to make it back for the win without the franchise players of Paul George, Russell Westbrook, and Steven Adams, of course, then they can do is try to pick it up better, and they will like to do it at the same time to get it straight. Right now, new changes are coming back in here for Atlanta and OKC. Bogdanovich is checked out, and Lou William Herder is checked back in. He finds Capella right to Herder. Akungwu inside. Oh, what a rejection here for OKC! They got a block from in between and the defender. Five to shoot. Herder up for three. No good. Right. Lost the ball. That's Dort with the steal. And another turnover on Atlanta. With the block. Trying to defend it. Okungwu has the ball. Herder. Up on Okungwu. Right. Back to Herder. Herder inside. Nice D and favors answer back and says, No ball on that one, can't help. Man, missed the three. That's a great defensive competitive. Herder. Herder slams in the paint. They're back up by one. Herder doesn't have any other thing to say, but he really wants to drive it in front. Not taking the three, but he really wants to do it. Dort. Try to look for the man opener. Man, on right, 2.30 remaining in the fourth. Maladon, do it for three. No good, Favors, and once again, they still haven't keep the run up alive for the OKC Thunders. That's a lot of hard defensemen out there. They're really good at it. They have to keep it going if they want it to get better. Hunter, three-pointer, answered back. And a next timeout is called by OKC. They lead by four for Atlanta with 2.07 remaining. Hunter, he's like a killer out there. He really doesn't want to do 
do the two on three zone, so they're gonna have to switch it back to man to man if they wanted to keep it going. But if there's no question here that they wanted to fix things off, then they gotta do it. A little change up here as I will uh, make some of my changes. But it's very hard, but what a great competitive matchup here for the best place as we've seen the Jazz and Spurs. It's a lot of uh, kind of heavy competitions out there. Of course, the, another heating uh, competitive matchup here, that was the last time, it was the New York Showdown. Hope we all enjoyed that one here too. Yeah, I enjoyed it here too. I really loved it the most. A lot of plays here with a special guest of OJ, and also OJ here with the All-Star crew. I'd like to thank him for that. <laughs> That's good to know. Thank you very much, I ain't done. Now let's present your New Balance player of the game. This one goes out to Trey Young. Trey Young is more of improvement skills, turned out to be just quite better. And last game, it wasn't close enough for him that he was going to try to make the buzz beater. From his all scoring effort, Trey Young really has shown off his time. And without John Collins, he will not be returning from his season with the Hawks. Two minutes to go here for the fourth quarter. And they're still trying to look. Favors. Oh, the man went right over to the cameraman. And Favors did not see that. He says, I'm sorry, I wasn't looking at the cameraman. Getting a little slip out there, but they're back up by. Sorry, they're back trailing by two. But they really got to try to fix things up. And they got to pick another man on offense. They really have to show that one off. They can't leave the man off and out of range. They have to show up. After the Hawks timeout, they're back on the court taking a look over and over. He finds Young. And here's Hunter in the corner. Try to look for motion out there. Finds Capella. Rejected by Favors. What a help on defense. Do it for the tie. No, he made a lead. Unbelievable. Funders are going to chant even louder than before. With only one win against the Nets, they decided they can do it again if they want to pick it back up. Young find a Kungwu. Up again. Rebounded. A Kungwu up. Takes it back. And that's a one-point lead for Atlanta Hawks. Biggest lead changes, it was Atlanta for 15, and lead changes, it was 10. Don't see the tie breaking out there. They really got to find another way to get over it. Basley takes it back in front with a 1-11 to go. It's down by one for Atlanta. Young, Herter, Fates, looks open. Capella for three. Missed the range. That's another miss by Atlanta. Door. Basely in the front. The ranging is off. The tight one is down to 50 seconds. Hunter finding Herter. Hunter on him. Try to rumble the bison. Capella. Trying to find his way in. And almost. Herter, I'm sorry, Capella missed the shot. And they're getting down by again. Capella trying to look for the steal. And they're trying to try to pick up the foul. And that will be the foul here for Kevin Herter. His first personal foul. Okungu is checked out. And now checking back in will be Del Danilio Gallinari. Finds Giddy. And another foul is called by Atlanta. That will be Trey Young. Second team foul. And now this will be two on one shots for OKC Funders. It's a tight game in between. They're looking for extension to pick up the lead run. He makes the first. Makes it again, and it will be another timeout for the last one on Atlanta.
Takes a second. And now the last time out called by Atlanta Hawks. They will talk it over and try to pick things up on the run. 14.9 seconds. This was like an extended game. That's going to be like long than expected at that point. They're going to need to try to fake something in fast. Yes, it's, so it's definitely a, an agreement that I that I did chose it for you once more. But you can't never get let you can't let the other players get right around it. If they have it out, if they're in front, then that will be another huge rejection on that call. Two blocks updated for the OKC Thunders. That will be two. And two turnovers on the Atlanta Hawks. Nothing for the Thunders as they are trying to work their way around without the franchise players. They really got to fight their way back. Last time, it was the Raptors that picked up the win against the Hawks. But this time, does the Hawks answer back? Let's find out what happens now if there's a choice. Coming down to the wire in three, two, one. No timeouts left for Atlanta. And they make the shot. It will be the last timeout for the, for the OKC Thunders. He goes up. Can he make it? No good. That's another miss. And they will have to regroup the session here of Capella with the third team foul on Atlanta. Yeah, he was not quite ready with that one. He was off the balance out there. He was off range. First shot, missed again. Will he make one? And yes, that is it. No timeouts been given out here for the funders. And they will have to close the gap. Three-pointer for Rome. No good. The Funders wins the second game. As the final score comes up by 54 to 50. And for another losing streak here for Atlanta, it's a devastation. La Hardman, you can tell that one here, but the fans of Funders got better. Well, no calls in that alley on that performance, but that will be the it for the game. I can tell you, be honest though, that's a great sportsmanship for the Thunders. They win two in a row, one for season three and one for season number six of this season. And now let's present your three stars player of the game, starting off with number three. We have the one that never got their chance in time. It was Clint Capella. Clint Capella has gotten a little bit more worse than that on this game. For the last one, it didn't really help out for him. And that was very tough communication call, how he has turned out. But it doesn't really work for him to keep an eye on. Number two for the player, we call that one, as this all turns out to be not Trey Young. But it's going to be Aaron Wiggins, 11 points, 1 assist. Turned out to be very hard and dramatic here. It's not Andrew Wiggins, it's just Aaron Wiggins. He does have a brother here. I don't know if he is, but that's, uh, that's the biggest concern of this question. But that's all it turned out. And your number one here, me phone, go for it. Well, the number one that we are picking out things again, your OKC winner is Lucas Dort. Picking up 12 points, 5 assists, 2 rebounds, and 1 steal. It's a great play on him, and definitely turning out to be the best performance on the court. Giving a help out without Russell Westbrook, Paul George, and Steven Adams. Of course, you could definitely tell that one here. Chris Paul never really liked the OKC Funders at this point, so he has to disregard it and go to the Phoenix Suns without any regretting calls for this point. And with Al Horford, he tried it, but didn't work for him. And that's going to be the end of the game. I'd like to thank you all for watching this NBA matchup of the Hawks and Funders. Funders win the game 54 to 50. And for that, peace out everyone for as a while as the NBA 2K22 dial. We'll see you all next time for the next game before the playoff schedule begins. Yes, that's right. Playoffs are coming in fast. We might see who's going to be in the map bracket if we have any chance. And along with all the crew, I am Mephone with Son of Beast, and this has been a presentation of the NBA 2K Sports. 
For more on info, check out other games that we did a video. And thank you all for joining. We'll see you next time for the next battle. Take care, folks.